Um, hey everyone, this is a random stream. Hopefully, do you everything sounds okay? Wait. See, then people in the chat start going, oh, it's broken, and cannot tell if people... I can't tell if people are being serious. I can't tell if people are jerks. Anyway, uh, so Alex, why don't you introduce yourself to everyone uh, in the chat, watching at home. You are not Alex, Alexis, other Alexes that we have on the site. Uh, you are a different Alex, so, so why don't you introduce yourself? I am a different Alex. My name is Alex Rubens. I am a freelance games writer and esports writer. Uh, so that's kind of my jam. I've been a giant bomb fan forever too. So it you're, you're like the like the new me. I I did I was the really young guy for the longest time, and now I'm 28, so I don't get to have that mantle anymore. And now yeah. you're the absurdly young kid who is uh, still in college and getting on trips and getting to go places. Yeah, I I turned 20 today. So now did you really? That, yeah. So now it leaves room for other people to. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. I don't know why I said congratulations makes it sound like you earned it. I know, like I did something real cool. All right, well, why don't we jump in this game, assuming that it's not going to crash, and then I'll suddenly just have to jump into single player. Um, but let's see. All right, so. Oh yay! Oh, I'm not. I'm not hearing any. I'm not hearing any sound. I'm hearing sound, but of course you are. I know. <laughs> Hold on. That was the worst helpful. Oh, that's why. Worst helpful troubleshoot. I got it. I got it. I'm protecting you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I got your back. All right. Sorry, chat. There should be uh, there should be sound in the stream now. I had it muted on on my end. All right. So uh, you pointed. You were the one that pointed this game out to me. Yes. You are responsible for us playing this game. Yeah. Um. How did you come across this game? So this is being made by uh, at least one of my friends uh, from college. He kept telling me that he was making a game because he knew that I wrote about games. Uh, and I was kind of like, you know, okay, okay, whatever, dude. And then uh, he finally got me to play it, and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, it's real hard, uh, but it's pretty and it sounds real good. They actually just did a Kickstarter to get the music. Um, but it's just like a whole bunch of calls making a game. Oh, I died. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah. This is, it's pretty hard. Yeah, uh, I, I liked when I saw at the beginning people said, oh, hey, why is he playing on very easy? And yo, this is why you play on very easy. No, so actually, uh, you see that uh, that meter on the the right hand or right hand side where it says very easy. As you level up and sort of as you do better, the game gets harder. So it's pretty much like the most punishing thing of like, oh yeah, you you, you think you're doing good? Okay. And uh, so it gets increasingly difficult. So does it actually like? So even though you're on very easy, like it's more it's more or less just saying. We're starting you on like a lower rung of yeah. what the game's at. It's still gonna get just as difficult if you oh, kind of yeah, stick yeah. with it. It uh, it's basically saying this is as easy as it's gonna get. So if you die here, you're kind of screwed. Uh, people in the chat that are asking, this is a game called uh, uh, Risk of Rain, right? That's what it's called. Yes. Yes. We actually I got mine through the Humble Bundle uh, site. I'm not sure. Uh, I know it's on green light. I don't really know where else to buy it though. Do you respawn? Not, or you just kind of does not appear. Does not appear that I respawn. Okay, <laughs> we can probably restart that if you want. So it's not. All right, why don't you die? Okay. I'll just hang out by your dead body. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. just attract. I just tracked all these enemies over yeah. and see what you can do. These jellyfishes are some sons of bitches over here. I wish I could see the amount of light that you had. Oh, you can't see it down at the bottom? Hmm. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I can no, see. I, I can just see what I, I can see. My difficulty, I can see uh, my money, but I, I can't actually see. Okay, you died. You're not, like, spectating me. No, I am spectating. It follows you around, and it says that I could actually switch to other players uh, if we had more than two people playing. Interesting. Um, 
Alright, which so there they're, these are all like different classes of characters. I'm gonna yes. just let's just give that let's just give that another shot. <laughs> Maybe this time I'll pay a little bit more attention. Yeah, so you know you have your four things mapped to Z, X, C, and V. Uh, I'm playing with the, the Xbox controller, so they're on the right trigger, right button, left okay. trigger, left button, uh, for me. Yeah, they're uh, it's pretty much like the same typical stylings of how you think of those buttons would work. You just sort of gotta time it out. Which one? Uh, which class are you playing as? Uh, I don't know. I'm just playing as this giant Rob the Robot looking dude. But it's. I think it's cool because it really makes you think about how you're applying your skills because even for something as simple as just rolling, uh, you have a you know you have to wait for a cooldown on that. Yeah. Oh, so totally. e so even as simple something as simple as dodging uh, has consequences and you can't just sort of like spam your way out of a out of a section. Yeah. Like I have these little drone things that fly around me that I can throw at enemies uh, to hurt them. But I only get them back if I kill that enemy. So if I like waste them all on some dude and then he's like really high health, I won't get them back for a while, you know? So it's like a real test of like, I don't want to use those until I'm close to killing this dude. And I think I only get one back even. Oh, you purchased the chest? Yeah. Increased damage and attack speed for 8 seconds. Oh, you should, well, it's a good thing that there are no enemies around. <laughs> Well, no, it's a, uh, it's like a constantly reusable thing. It oh, really? A, I'm, so yeah, so there's these other, there's items that just hang out at the bottom of your screen that you can just like stack on top of each other and just have like ten of them that are really good that will like, like I had one earlier that was like everywhere my dude walked his dirt trail turned into flames, so it's kind of just burning people. Um, oh yeah, we should go that way. So eventually, once we're level ten we'll want to activate this teleporter. And then we have to sit here for 90 seconds and sort of stay alive and kill all the enemies, and then we go to the next level. But we don't really want to do it until we're high level or else we're going to die a horrible, horrible death. Well, because it spawns, or at least when I tried it in single player, uh, it spawned a boss yeah, character, essentially. Yeah, big dude and every other enemy that is going to spawn before the end of the level. So yeah, so these right here, you can sort of open up uh, other, so there's these items that have cooldown timer, and then there's items that stack. And the cooldown timer ones were inside the chest, and then the stackable ones are in these, like, towers. So see, we just have this war banner, and we'll just have a whole bunch of different items uh, that sort of <clears throat> make it so that you can sort of change the gameplay to your liking, I guess. At least with the uh, rechargeable ones too. It's pretty oh, I keep I keep dodging out of the way when I don't mean to. And then you fall. Yeah, at least it doesn't appear to be fall damage. Uh, there there is, but these levels get pretty tall, so you have to like like that was nothing compared. Oh, to I'm getting my ass kicked out here by this fire. I'll come down and help. There we go. And the the money will just collect. You don't need to like go fetch it either. So you can kind of just hang out in locations and, and grind for levels, but you're incentivized to move around to try and find uh, items and, and other other useful stuff. So because you basically are just grinding until you hit level ten, uh, and then once you hit that you go and try and get into the teleporter and take down the boss. But, you know, there's like quite a large incentive, incentive actually to go out. Because you want to power up, so level up. And I can find like, I know my character uh, can find like drones on the ground uh, that are like crashed and I can pay to repair them. And when I do that, it basically uh, just puts like a little turret dude around me that fires on enemies. So I'm, I'm sure your guy has something similar. Yeah, we're just kind of hanging out in this area. We should try and push forward to the right a little bit. Oh, says, <laughs> says Patrick as he as he quickly falls. I'm about to die. Oh, I just died. Oh, you died? Damn. All right. Well, if nothing else, uh, I'll at least I'll spawn the boss just to see how fast I can get my ass kicked. Yeah. Yeah. 
Do you know what these little... Oh, okay, you can send a, you can gain health back inside these little banner areas. Yeah, so that was one of the things that, one of the power-ups that I picked up. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I appear... Ooh. I did not know about I was wondering how to get there earlier. You should purchase that and see what's inside. I... Chance to Ch bleed on hit. Yeah. Uh, do you have to pay to use a teleporter? No. Okay, and I'll buy this too. Every four basic attacks pierces through enemies. Yeah, you're just gonna want to haul ass. <laughs> yeah, this. Oh god, that green guy is just wrecking me. It was over here somewhere, right? Like over to the left. Uh, yeah, I think it's basically right below you, right? Oh uh, no, you're right. I think it is way far over. Oh, I wish this guy had a double jump. I think uh, a map would be kind of neat. Once yeah, whether that was something that maybe you purchased early on. Yeah. Yeah, because right now, I swear we saw the teleporter, but I didn't really keep a good... So go right. I think it was uh, sort of in between... Well, that sounds dumb to say in between where you are now and where we just were, but uh, like down and to the right. right oh, that guy is wrecking me. Yeah. Those green it's because he's got such a long distance shot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so those are oh. little jump those are Those are very helpful because you can sort of trap enemies in there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so you have to survive for 90 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this isn't going to happen. I mean, can you just run away? Do you have to fight? You have to fight. You have to take him out, survive 90 seconds, and then after that... Uh, or by the time you... You can't enter the teleporter until every enemy is dead in the area. And, like, it won't make you go chase people out into the outskirts, but pretty much every enemy in, like, the very immediate area. <laughs> yeah. Well, look, I took off, like, a whole one-sixth of his health. <laughs> so that's why we have to be level 10, because when you're level 10, your attacks do so much damage. You can take out the little purple dudes in, like, one shot. I'm gonna give another class. There's a miner. So when you play single player, it actually lists out what these guys do, what their different characteristics are. We're not, we're not really seeing that right here. I'll be this guy. We're basically just picking which one looks the coolest. Yeah, I like this. I like this guy. This chained up alien at the end. So. Yeah. Now, oh, I got a bow. Whoa. I'm like Hawkeye. I got a little chain behind me, so I got like a real, I got like these physical attacks, and these physical attacks don't actually run out. Yeah, yeah, Z, or yeah, your initial basic attack is pretty much constant recharge. Oh, dude, this guy's baller. And is this cool Globo? Look at the, I can sh Boomerang. Man, some of my more powerful ones have such an enormous cooldown, though. Oh, One of them is 13 seconds. Whoa. It's this one right here. Uh, or 10 seconds. That better do some... Yeah. <laughs> oh, 17 seconds. Oh, that keeps this trail behind me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to play differently. My last guy was kind of just... He'd run in and just smash things. Uh, and this guy, you can't do that. That's kind of a, a cool thing about it is each one actually offers just such drastic... Play style differences. Yeah, it makes it so that especially like early on when we're trying it out, it's it's sort of tough because everything I just learned about how to play sort of doesn't apply at all. Yeah. But I do like this the trail of ooze because especially when you're dealing with those enemies that are kind of taking pot shots at you and you're too low level to handle them, that gives you a chance to at least inflict some damage while you're running away. Yeah. Yeah, there was one power up I bought that like set a row of trip mines. Which one should we go for? Okay, there we go. Increases oh, health regeneration. That seems useful. Yeah. Whoa, I don't know what that boomerang has a mine of its own. Wait, so wait, do we have we have shared money? Um No, right? I would assume so. Do you have twenty one dollars? 
I can't, I can't see my thing because your Skype thing is covering it. Oh, no, is I, it? <laughs> I was just kind of guessing every time I device something. Uh, now I have 49, so we must have... We have, di we have different sets. I have 29 right now. It's probably, so what it is, it's probably that we collect the same amount of money, but when one of us buys something, uh, it just pulls from that person's fund, even if it's available to both players. Alright, level four. We're doing okay so far. Really wish I had a double jump. It's really frustrating, some of these little spots. Yes, yeah, I think we have to go off to the right. Okay. Yeah, it's like, it is frustrating, but it also makes it so you don't just follow the same path over and over again. Yeah, that's definitely true. And these levels are randomly generated as well, too. Yeah. Which makes it, like, really tough. <laughs> Wait, who's that? Yeah, just hang out there, guy. That's cool. Just, I'll just bash away, bash away. Level 5, boom. I kind of like that I can get up close and personal Yeah, this guy. It's a cool style shit. That's kind of why I liked that big robot for a while. I was like, Dang, am I just... I can't see over the edge here. I don't so. think we should go there. I don't think that doesn't look right. Oh, oh there wait. are enemies coming from that way. <laughs> it means that there's a thing down there. Okay. Should, should we, we do it? Go? Yeah. Once we take them. Oh, oh man, we're getting a lot of these guys. Look at all that money. Whee! Oh, there's a yeah, there's a teleporter down there. Oh, that's where. Okay. Oh, oh so no. the the little bit of slime that I can leave behind damages them, and then for certain enemies, it actually prevents them from advancing. Ooh, get a little sludge. Oh, is that you? Feet twenty Lemurians in one playthrough. Look at me, I'm so good at video games. I'm gonna open this chest. I have a dude just following. Chance to freeze enemies on hit. That seems useful. Also, I think it's funny when you're out of reach, or off of my screen, it just puts you in a little, like, Baby Mario bubble. <laughs> jellyfish. These jellyfish can kill you real fast. Okay, uh, yeah, this one's good actually. Increase damage and attack speed for 8 seconds. And this one though. Ooh, drop oh. a mine at low health. That seems super useful. Yeah. I like that. I really like that the health regenerates too, so that even when you kind of get into a shitty situation, you have a chance to kind of come back. Yeah. Whoa, this uh, pickup that I just picked up is real good. Also, that panic mine is helpful. Fire a swarm of missiles. Disposable missile launcher? Ooh. Oh, shoot. I just, I have like a star, or a, I don't know if it's Fox or Falco that has that little uh, thing where he kind of teleports into the stars and goes off to the side. I have that. Uh, <laughs> I always do it right over an edge. So the items that you have on, on your left, those are disposables? No, so the ones that you have on your left, uh, those just stack on top okay. of each other. Uh, they're basically just like constant power-ups. Uh, like I just got one that's gained gold over time. Uh, little piggy bank. But the ones that are down by your, by your packs, I guess, those are ones that you can only have one of at a time. So those are almost disposable. They regen, but... How do you, oh, sh well, you're not using a controller, so I don't know how you use it. It's G on the keyboard. <laughs> that uh, okay, there we go, I got it. Cool. That's cool. What what button is it for you? Uh, X. A is jump, X is that special. Okay, so okay, so they're one-time use, but those also have a cooldown. Yeah, so they're actually, like, fairly useful. I had one that was complete panic line set. 
it would just sort of drop them all down. And that was the best one. Whoa. Oh god, those guys, I'm getting out of here. Yeah, me too. Dropped a panic mine and I was out. What does your panic line do? No, the panic mine. Oh. It drops a mine when you're about to die. Um, and it's real helpful. I love that you, even though you have regenerating health, you, you're still never safe because it's going to be constantly spawning enemies anyway. <laughs> like that, or just shooting you into them. Uh, that teleporter, or not teleporter, like the man cannon. The man cannon shot me right into a jelly. Bean. Woo! Go, 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 go! I find myself making that, like, noise a lot while playing this game. Just because you get so pew, into it. Pew. Yeah. It's like, I got him. Have you, <laughs> did you remember where the teleporter was? Uh, I never saw it. I haven't seen either, so maybe it's to our left. Oh. I'm thinking that we're level eight. I'm not sure how much health you have, but I'm no. about, I'm at like one third. Yeah. No, yeah, same. So we should probably try and seek out the teleporter. Oh, those green guys. How much? Give me some in game DLC to get rid of those <laughs> green guys. Whoa. Their range is so long. I know. So I, I went up. Okay. Yeah, I see your little baby Mario. Oh, we have so it. much money. We need to be buying stuff. Yeah, once you get towards the end, it's, you can pretty much just buy everything you come across. Ah, you stupid jelly! I don't. Mm. I really yeah, like my my missiles. I don't think I want to give that up for whatever's in here. No, when you get one of those, we'll see. So the cool thing is, is with the uh, the drop or the regen items, those uh, you can see what's inside and then choose if you want to pick it up. And you can even pick it up and then decide to go back to your original item. Oh, they're chasing me. I'm screwed. Are you down? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trying to run away. Oh uh, man, yeah. I, oh, I see. Okay, there's an indicator at the bottom. It's a little baby Mario. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm just, I'm just moving down. Oh, there you go. Left off with the space. Boom, boom. Just wrecking shit. <laughs> it's a little fireball just sitting here waiting for me. Yeah, those fireballs, man, they are not... Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. I got I, it. I, I got it. Sit here and wait. Those guys aren't so bad. Oh, well, they just took down, like, most of my health. Alright, just get out of the way. I got them. Well, I can kind of just hang out over here. Level nine. nine. Oh, another one spawned. Yeah, that slime is really neat, actually. Yeah, especially when you get a bunch of these guys kind of together. I just really like those missiles. <laughs> Alright, well, we're closing in on 10. Yeah, I'm about 8.5. I'm at nine. Oh, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead. Oh well, yeah, let's both run away. Well, Damn it. Oh, you're dead. Oh no, and I'm in bad shape by myself. Okay. That slime though, dude. Slime is fucking people up. If I can just wait. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, what did I get killed by? <laughs> Does it say crush? Oh, it... man. God damn it. Okay, I'm going to go back to my robot, man. And we're going to get to the second zone. Because those zones are even cooler. All right, we'll give this uh, we'll, we'll give this another run here. Oh, look, Skype just told me Alex Rubin says a birthday today. <laughs> it wants me to give you a dumb gift. It's such a good friend. I know, I saw that Facebook has been doing that recently too, uh, and I, I really wanna know what it says for me. Like, what it thinks I want. Okay, so uh, you've played as, 
Uh, you play as the big guy. And this person. Does any, have you play, anyone played as this one, the purple guy? No. Okay. I was playing as this one, the bow guy. And I played as the regular one. Um, so I guess here, actually. Oh, I can't play as that person. Did we play as this one? No. The miner? No, I haven't tried the miner. Okay, I'll be the miner. This way we've gone through all the available characters. Alright. Launch. Okay, let's test out our moves. <laughs> okay, I can just lay mines down. Yeah, I got a little dash. Whoa, look at my dude. My dude just dashes everywhere. Oh, also my I dude can set down a turret! Shut the fuck up! OP, OP. Oh, dude! I can't even- Dude! I'm so craft axes over here and you're throwing down- Oh! Club Dog is just fucking shit up right now. No. Oh. <laughs> Get that. Get him out of here. Yo, game of the year right here. Game of the year. All right, let's go. Let's go walk somewhere else. Let's go over to the right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that sound is so satisfying. <laughs> Plunk. <laughs> hey, re receive a delayed heal after being hit. That seems pretty interesting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this heals nice. <clears throat> oh, dude. I might have found my... Found my animal spirit in this game. Yeah. Oh, what's this? For 14 seconds. Whoa! Cause enemies to drop gold. <laughs> what? <laughs> the one thing that's not uh, not that great right now for me, especially because I'm using the gamepad, and obviously this game's really early, uh, but it can be confusing to remember what all your buttons do yeah. and are mapped to. It'd be nice if the, that was referenced in the in the toolbar somewhere. So yeah. That, like in a pinch, if I if I because like my tur my turret, for example, like you don't use it that often. Uh, it'd be nice if, if that was a good mention somewhere. I would agree. For me, it's like, uh, if they just put little, you know, little cues saying, uh, you know, like Z, X, Z, under, just right. even really small underneath the things, that would be awesome. I had to go to my Twitch TV chat earlier to figure out how to use the item. It's a little bit harder to just mash buttons on a keyboard and figure yeah. it out. Ooh, what's this? Killing an enemy permanently increases your health. What? Dude, that seems like a god tier item. Yeah. Especially because I found out I have the sh shotgun. Create a shadow partner for 15 seconds. All right, let's uh, head to the right. Yeah. If oh. we can, if we can get on that thing. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, I can't do it. Hold on. My guy can't reach. Oh no, there we go. I got it. <clears throat> Fix some getting used to. Ooh. All the numbers are satisfying, my little plunk is satisfying. Dude, just look at the animations on that turret and your mind's down there. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't blame people at this point for being a little bit tired of of pixel stuff. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, I don't know what our stuff did. <laughs> <laughs> the text overlaid over top of each other. But yeah, when people do pixel art right, I mean, like this, it just looks... Gorgeous. Oh, my health is going up when I kill enemies too. Yeah. So I, this we both pick up the basic thing. Gotcha. Like the stacking things. Uh, and then from okay, we have to go far to the left. Oh no. Oh, dude, your turret's just still doing work over there. Don't You're even worry. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Oh yeah, I like this one. Uh, switch. This one does. Uh, 
Oh, I have to wait for it to reset. But this one basically turns the whole uh, world into a snow globe. All the enemies get cold. Do you, do you know who did the soundtrack? Yeah, actually. Uh, so they did a Kickstarter, and it was... Let's see. Chris? Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, don't... Please don't die just so you can tell me who did the, the chiptune soundtrack. <laughs> well, I was also trying to pronounce their last name. Chris Christodulio. Christo... On Twitter, he's uh, Astronaut Down. Uh, and they actually, they did like an $8,000 Kickstarter, uh, just for the music, and, uh, and a few other things. Um, but it ended up getting way more than that. I think that they hit their goal in a few days, uh, which is pretty cool. Alright, let's let my turret do its work. Yeah, I'll run out. Yeah, it's been interesting to watch some folks do Kickstarters for ancillary parts to the game. Like, there, there was a, a Kickstarter that just went up for... To create a strategy guide and an art book for Mercenary Kings, you know, oh, a yeah. game that is uh, also in early access and, and not out yet. Uh, it just seems, you know, if people want to fund it, you know, do whatever you want with your own money. It just also seems sometimes can be slightly presumptive uh, for for something like that. Yeah, and I think I think this at least worked. Like their Kickstarter worked because it wasn't like, hey, here's our proof of concept. It was like, hey, we have this game here. You can come play this game. Uh, if you want this game to sound good, it's up to you. Like, it wasn't like, you know, a lot of Kickstarters are almost like, we have this really cool idea, but haven't done any work on it yet. Yeah, I, I think Kickstarters that, you know, it's not possible for all of them, but any of them that can be in a capacity to offer a demo for people, especially for me at this point, who's just, I think a lot of people are just cynics about the whole thing, even though I just played through, you know, Shadowrun Returns, which I think is a pretty fantastic game. And that was Kickstarter funded. Yeah. Uh, but I think people are just kind of tired sometimes of the of the concept. And if you can put a playable demo out there, that's a good way to get people to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, if uh, if you've actually made something that gives you, you know, a sense of of what you're trying to do with the money. So we're back at the start now. Still haven't seen the. So I think what we should do actually is go. Did we check all the way to the left over here? No. Let's go over here. Okay. Actually, we did go over here earlier. Hmm. Have we done all the way up to the left? No. We did all the way up to the right. Let's go all the way okay. left. Oh, now I'm throwing out four goddamn bombs at once. It's this madness. That noise on the other side of the map, and then just see them come rolling down the hill. Also, that power-up that we picked up that was anytime you kill an enemy, you get bigger health. Oh, what is a lifesaver. Oh, this thing is unbelievable. Oh, okay, I found the portal. Okay. So I think we should just hang out here and try and grind out. What level are you at? Uh, I'm at eight and a third. Okay, I'm, I'm about the same. So I think we should just kind of just hang here and see if we can make our, our stand. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, buy. Which item should we buy? Um, I don't know. We kind of just have to take a guess based on their looks. Should we go for which one? Yeah. What is it? Car key? Increases oh. attack speed. Oh, I like that. Yeah. My dude can swing his little pickaxe like crazy. Look at him. I bet he could fly. He does it so fast. I like that the, the sprite is kind of just like flipping out. Yeah. He's just waving his hands in the air. Aw, oh, dude. Yeah, your dude's pretty OP. Wait, what happened? We're getting uh, one of the bosses ahead of time? I might have activated it on <laughs> <laughs> I hit that little thing down there. No, it said, it says find the teleporter. So we haven't done it yet. Yeah, we haven't. We just activated a boss. Great. Yeah, we got, dude, we got this guy. This fucking dude's got nothing on us. Time I activated a magna worm at the same time as the teleportal. 
it went after well. taking damage reflect all attacks for four seconds dude oh we're gonna wreck fireball i don't have anything on me mr fireball Ooh. oh yeah let's go get these guys Ooh. Still. Still oh oh so what does that actually do? Oh, it slows everyone down? Probably. I think it makes them all cold. I don't know what it does for the... Level 9! Yeah, so we are... Dude, I think we got this. I'm feeling yeah. really confident. Yeah, me too. I'm feeling overly confident. I'm feeling confidently over overconfident. We're at medium right now. It'll probably jack up to hard right when... Uh, oh, I didn't even time. notice that. Yeah, see, so it, as you go, with more time... And with more, uh, I'd assume more enemy deaths, it gets harder and harder. So I think that there will probably end up being like a lot of, uh, sort of, I don't know, a lot of incentive to speed run through some areas while also trying to be level 10. I am laying down so many mines! <laughs> Dude, you have a straight up garden up here. I feel like I'm walking through your Animal Crossing town right now. All right, I'm one, I'm one third to level ten. Do you want to just hit it? Do you want to just spawn sure. it? Let's just do it. Boom. Yolo. Oh, that that jellyfish is huge. So there's a lot of dudes up on this second tier. No globe. Good thing, good thing I set all those mines now. Yeah, seriously. And I'm just gonna hang out by your turret. I'm just kind of taking care of this boss. I'm trying to swing my Minecraft. I got it. I got a baby. Saw blade, real good. Oh yeah, we have this. Say as I start getting destroyed. Oh jeez! Oh, get off the edge! Get off the edge! Okay, uh -huh. I'm gonna go up here and throw down a saw blade and then dive off the edge. Saw blade. Oh, there we go. Ooh, and it comes back. Ooh. Now level ten. Oh yeah, this went real bad. I'm out of here. <laughs> Like, hell, I just threw a soft blade and got a bunch of them. Might as well just charge in there. Okay. We're slowly getting this. Yeah, so now we just have to take out all these enemies and then we get to go to the next area. No more will respawn either. Dude. Ooh. Hey, Ooh. there's. Yeah. There, see that little arrow? That tells us where they're all. At. Yeah, they're all stuck over here. I'm gonna try charging. Ooh. Dude, I just hang out over here. Come back over. Here. Okay. I'm just gonna dump on him. Look at it. I got. We got this. Oh, I'm level 11. Three left. Two left. Also, this guy looks like a melting, uh, melting Pokemon right here. <laughs> Yeah, they're all this way. The music changes too and gets more amped up as you play. I think that's pretty. I almost feel bad for this guy. You just hanging out? Yeah. He's just like. Hey, it's not his fault that he got the wrong memo. Yeah. He's like, you guys said the party's at the left platform, right? Should we get that? Like, should we buying all the chests? Like, do we lose our money in the next stage? We do lose our money. I, we might lose our items also. Um, let's We're just also do it. okay. Well, okay, let's just go. Okay. But I'm just gonna keep dumping all my mines. Oh, I can dump so many mines. Whoa. Yeah, we did lose all of our money. Boom.
Okay. So, great. We start immediately at hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy that looks like one of the uh, boss from the Incredibles is chasing after me. Sub oh, I threw my saw blade the wrong way. Damn it. We still kept our things though, so that's good. I don't think I like my shadow guy. I don't get what he does. He just kind of hangs out. Maybe I might be using it wrong, but it's probably like how. I'm Holy using shit! It. Oh yeah, there's goes. This is when those mines were really helpful. Oh dude, I'm I'm in bad shape. I'm gonna see what we can buy. Oh, here's a rocket. Oh shoot. Okay, he spawned right at the thing. All I right, I'm getting out. I'm I'm jumping up. I'm jumping up. I'm okay. bailing out. I'm gonna saw blade and then run over. Oh no. Should I go for a weapon? I'm doing it. Oh shoot, that's a bad idea. Bad Don't idea. die on me. Don't die on me. I'm out of here. Oh, stupid jellyfish. I'm hoping we can just kind of take pot shots at him from up here. But I'm not doing so well life-wise. Yeah, I'm 240. Oh, it's 62. Damn. Okay, I'll take the jellyfish. Ah. Just, this level just starts and then just does not stop. Yeah, just wait till you get, uh, earlier I got very hard and insane. Uh, they live up to their name. Okay, should we go down here and take these dudes out? Uh, I am, if you want to, I am not in a position to do a whole lot right now with my health. Oh, great. Just spawned oh. a boss! <laughs> it's magna worm. I don't know how to hurt it, so I'm just gonna run. Well, well, you just have to hit it. Okay, no wait, this isn't that bad. This Are you is not that bad. This magma boss, is, magma worm, is defeatable. Just hang I out where we're at right now. You see it, Toe? Okay, well, these ghosts are not making my life any easier. Oh yeah, the ghosts are hurting me. Crap, crap, crap! Ah! What, did we die at the same time? No, I'm, I'm hanging out in this room with all these. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. Right, you, you go as far as you can. Oh, you died. It's to live my life with you. Well, at least it told me I died painlessly. So, <laughs> that's awfully, that's awfully nice of it. Um, Alright, well, I think that's a good look at the game. That's... By a child. Man, that is a... That's a good ass game. That is a lot of fun for as early in development as that is. Yeah. Um, so why, you, you're the one that pointed me to this. Why don't you uh, tell people uh, where they can get it if they if they want to check it out for themselves? Shoot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. There's a humble bundle, right? I got mine through hum humble bundle. I do not know if that's where they all uh, like. If you can buy it through them, I'd assume you can. Oh, this is bad. I should have had this ready, shouldn't I? You did. You're the one that told me. Oh, I got this laptop. I got this laptop. It's on green light. You can't buy it through there, though, can you? What's the game called again? I'm, I keep getting it's so many. It's the name is not does not stick out that well. I should, I will say. Um. Uh... Risk of rain. Risk of rain. Uh, let's see. If I go to their website. Oh, risk of rain game. Yeah, go there. Go to riskofrain.com. They've got videos and information uh, on the game. Uh, man, I'm going to be paying attention to this one. I will tell you what. Uh, this game seems like a lot of fun. So, uh, Alex, thanks for thanks for playing the game with me, and thanks for giving me a heads up earlier today. Oh, yes. Thank you for inviting me. All right, and thanks for everyone tuning in on the stream. Um, I would we I would like to do stuff like this more often. So, uh, you know, I'm not in the office anymore, and uh, skyping people into 
play games and watch it off of a stream that is three seconds behind is a little difficult. Uh, so uh, we're going to try and see if maybe there'll be an opportunity to do things like this where uh, you can kind of talk and play in real time uh, in a format that is uh, similar to what Giant Bomb normally does. So uh, yeah, I don't know. This hopefully will become more of a more of a regular thing. So uh, I will uh, I'll talk to you guys all later. Bye guys.